Who's a good Mr. Sniff? Yes, you are. Who wants a ball? Mr. Sniff? Whoa. <laughs> you followed me. Ball. I suppose I shouldn't really be surprised. Enjoy the ball. Goodbye. Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. Today what I'd like to do is change the tractor, that is the Massey Ferguson drop nose. There is a reason for this and it is not just because I've been using it quite a bit. It's actually because I want to experience the Case IH 1455 from FS17, which has now been officially put into the game by Giants. Um, but also, we do need some extra horsepower. Now what we could do is actually configure this tractor to make it higher horsepower. It's currently a 5610, which is a fairly small one. We can go up to a 13, and that is going to boost it to 130 horsepower. However, that's going to cost us another £12,500, whereas the 1455 is already 145 horsepower, and it's much cheaper. Now, this tractor does come with the front loader, and that is a good thing. But luckily, the case also does. So we're going to fit the front loader attacher to that, and we're going to keep the same front loader which is over there. We might be able to change it back to the default colour without spending any more money. Uh, that would be even better. But yeah, what I'd like to do is just really experience some more tractors, and that is the first one I want to go for. It's affordable, and I just think it's going to be the best one for us. So, yeah, to the store, and hopefully we do get a 20% bonus for taking it over there. We're going to keep the New Holland for the time being, but very soon we are going to have to get a, a medium-sized tractor as well, and it's going to be probably a John Deere. Now for those viewers who have been watching me for a while, you'll probably know by now that I always like to drive Massey Ferguson tractors. So you probably think this is a bit strange me getting rid of this tractor, but I'm hoping to get another bigger tractor in the future, as well as the John Deere. Um, it's going to be quite a long way down the line, I would have thought, but it would be something like a 7726, which is a big tractor. About 270 horsepower, I think it is. We can check. I might as well. Medium tractors? Just about, I'd say. Yeah, there we go. 7726 is 280 horsepower. That is a really good one to get. But like I say, that is, uh, that is quite a while away. And we have to get other tractors and more fields before that. So, we're going to get £58,112 for this. It looks like we get exactly the same amount if we were to sell it uh, just from the garage. At least that is the price I was getting before. So, yeah, there we go. Done. We have £141,000, which means we can now spend some of that on the 1455, which is going to be at the end, just here. Right, so there it is. I think it's a really good looking tractor. And with the higher horsepower, it should really be able to help us do some ploughing. Because we did struggle. The, the Massey Ferguson really was struggling with the plough. So, I would say this tractor's heavier as well. Anyway, let's just take a look at these different tyres. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Um, I do like the communal tyres, but not for a tractor we're going to be doing ploughing with. We've got wheel weights, wide tyres. Oh, wide tyres look really good. Very nice. Uh, but it's another £800. Wide tyres and the weight. Wow, that is nice. Um, rear twins. Again, we can fit these later. We have our own workshop. Narrow. They look horrible, but they are very handy for spraying. Although you might like the look of it. I just don't. <laughs> I like it for some tractors. I think the T5 suits them, but not the case. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the... Wide tyres and wheel weights. I think it is going to be our ploughing tractor, so it is going to be very beneficial to have that. And of course, we do need to have the front loader attacher, which is another £1,500. Then again, we have made a bit of money from the Massey Ferguson. Not a profit, but it's still, it's still money back. So let's see what this tractor can do. The last time I used this was in 17. But I've got to say, it's so nice to have it back in 19. Judging by the reaction I got on my first video, I think a lot of viewers didn't like that the 1455 had gone from the base game. So Giants have definitely done the right thing in putting it back in. I really appreciate it. I think it's a very nice tractor to have. Right, um, so yeah, on to today's jobs. Now, I think the contracting system is starting to fix itself, which is good to see. I've been told that if you turn off weeds, this is just by a viewer, if you turn off weeds for a few days, they should disappear, 
in the field and the contracts will come back. So I'm trying it out. It looks like there is um, some truth to that, which is great because more contracts have definitely appeared and I do want to do a big one. But I know that if I do a big sugar beet harvest or a big potato harvest, it's going to take a while. But I'm not saying I'm not going to do it because we are going to at some point. So to start things off with, we have field number 32. It's a soybean field and it's only 2.5 acres. This could be a good one to go for, especially as our combine is set up for soybeans, so it's not going to cost us the extra £311 to lease the machinery. So we'll accept the contract. It's, it's worked. That's good. Um, we'll turn the tractor's engine off. In fact, we'll put it away. I do need to put the front loader on it too. I'm hoping as well the, the rear wheel weights will help with the front loader work. I'm assuming they actually do have a mass to them and they're not just for looks as I think they were in 17 um, yeah it looks really chunky with those white tyres but that fits fine as you can see we've got a Matty Ferguson front loader colour and obviously the case for the tractor we can change it but I think if I was to do anything I'd put it back to default just to uh, make it blend better but actually that is a fairly close colour match so we'll turn the engine off and we'll get the combine harvester started it's time to make some good money. Field 32. I say good money, it's actually £3,000, but that is still not too bad for the amount of work involved. That's a good way of seeing inside the combine. You can see the engine at the top and also threshing uh, units and all the internal workings. In fact, you can see some pulleys as well and the belts. So it needs to go over to the grain mill. Field 32 is not too far away near to the Green Elevator East. So we'll start our trundle over there. It's going to take us a little while to get over there since the maximum speed of this is 13. Uh, obviously in the ideal world would have either a bigger combine which can drive faster or a low loader. But at the moment we can't really be putting money into that sort of stuff. We're still trying to build up the farm generally. I've just arrived at the field and realised we're almost out of diesel. Uh, I did have to reset the combine because it got stuck. And yes, I just remembered that is actually what happens when you reset, you lose a load of fuel. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do is probably buy the fuel bowser. Again, it's another investment which is worth doing. And actually, at the same time, we do need to bring back a trailer for the soybeans. So, just tab over here. That's perfect. If only Follow Me was in the game, that'd be amazing. Um, yeah, so if we're going to... I think it's in miscellaneous. Here it is. It's not too expensive, so that's good. Lizard. No kin... Oh, yeah, we can go with the... Uh, it's, not, it's not any more expensive to have these. They look quite good on here. In that case, we'll buy it. Right, so first stop is the store. Then we have to go and buy some diesel. I forget exactly where it is, but it can't be too far away from here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just in the town there, so it's not too far. In fact, we should be going in the right direction from the dealership. Let's just hope it fits to here. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't do. Let's find out. Oh, also, I did read a few comments saying that the, uh, the beacons look like FS-13's beacons. I've been back to FS13 just to look and it doesn't look anything like it. I can kind of see what you're saying, but when you actually do and go and have a look back, you realise that, yeah, not the same at all. 19s are way better. Right, so that is going to fit onto there, just about. Not much clearance, but still. As long as we can turn, I think we can do. Yeah, it should be alright, but ideally, it wants to be on the back of a pickup. Right, so again, I've been here before, but I do still need to figure things out. So I think it's straight over the roundabout. Here it is. That was nice and easy. Now for another expense. But luckily, by the end of the harvest, we are going to get around £3,500 in. So I've just filled up the gator, but also I need to fill up the tank. So it's... It's R and insert apparently. There we go. I'm expecting this to be quite expensive. It's a big tank and obviously diesel isn't cheap. 
I'm not too sure if we're putting road diesel in these tractors. That would be expensive. We don't need to get a full load, because um, looking at it, it's, it really is a big capacity. I think 1,500 to 2,000 litres will be plenty. After all, we, we can't afford too much. Let's say 1,600. There we go. That was still 2,000 pounds. Now, I don't know about you, but the integrated radio I find fantastic. I did do in 17 as well. Uh, my favourite is Simulator Radio. Some really good tunes played on there. But have a flick through. Hopefully you find a station which you enjoy. But yeah, Simulator Radio, definitely check it out. Um, yeah, not being not being paid to, to uh, say that. I, I genuinely do like the radio station. Some really good music on there. Well, if the combine has run out of diesel, it shouldn't be a big problem. It would be in real life, but in a game, it should just be a case of filling it up and continuing. So, yep, we'll go over there as quickly as possible. Thing is, though, it's quite a long way around. We have to go all the way up here just to drop back down to field 32. And then we do need to grab the tractor and trailer. Luckily, it's soybeans, so it's going to take a while to fill the tank. You'll be very pleased to know that the crop in fill number 20 is now balanced out. I put the crop growth to slow and it's really improved things. I unfortunately had it set to fast and the, the time was set to fast as well, about 120 times. And it, it was crazy, like one half of it was fully grown, the other half was just drilled. Uh, so that's not going to happen again. It's looking much better. It's also a big problem if you do that because of weeds. Like You get some weeds in some parts of the field, but not in others, so you can spray some off and yeah, then you, then you stop and then you come back and the other half has weeds. I would say it's best just to have it on slow, but it's totally up to you. Personally, I'd play with crop growth on slow, um, especially after that experience. So, here we are. Let's refuel. I wonder how full it is. Not too bad. Almost out. <laughs> it's almost completely run out. Ah, that's good. So it's going to have to go back on a worker since we need to go and get the tractor and trailer so it can continue. Oh, is that finished? Not quite. Yeah, that's what happens if you uh, speed up time as it is still drilling. You get these bizarre triangles, but they do level off. It's all right. So I suppose we're on this tractor. Here's the trailer. Hopefully there's no wood left in it. Fairly sure it all sold. Yeah, there we go. Um, so this is going to really help having the extra horsepower. I think the gearbox speed is exactly the same, so 26 miles per hour. The acceleration's faster. I think it's about 90% full. And obviously the auger is on the wrong side. So if I just stop it. Yeah, it is about 90%. We'll load it here. It's very rough here. There we go. In fact, what I can do is continue doing this myself. So we'll turn the, the tractor engine off. And we will continue. So it's done about, well, about 45% of the field. It's almost halfway. It's getting on very well. We might find that I put it back onto a worker. The other thing is I've noticed that anything you sell uh, after you've completed the contract, you actually get to keep the money. Um, so for example, if we harvested all of this field, you wouldn't have to necessarily harvest all of it to complete the job. Uh, but then any crop you sell after completing it, you get to keep the profits from. Or in fact, keep all the money from. Not just the profits. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, or if um, 
yeah, it's something which is going to be patched up. I, I really don't know, but it's it's actually a good thing. I think it's a good incentive to harvest the entire field. Right. So I think there's only one thing for it. Let's time lapse. Final piece. So it's not going to come up with contract completed because you do actually have to unload it to complete the job, uh, which is obvious anyway, but yeah, sometimes it can be a little bit confusing because it used to be like that in 17. So I'm really hoping that we're going to get probably a thousand pounds extra for harvesting the entire field. I've got about 800 pounds extra for doing uh, some extra areas on the sugar beet field, and I didn't even finish the field, so that was still pretty good. But there we go. Done. There should be no issues with fitting it all in the trailer. And it has to go to the green mill. It is the selected sell point. So what percentage completed are we? 80%, so 20% of that is selling. I seem to remember spraying this field. Was it this field we sprayed? So we have helped towards the good yield. There we go. Um, so we're going to have to have a bit of a tidy up after this. As I said, follow me in 17 and all the other versions actually. It was such an amazing mod. Really want it to be in 19. I actually don't know if it's going to be or not. You don't really realise how much you love it until it isn't there. That's when you realise it is probably one of the best mods in the game. Um, obviously there's different categories of mods, so it wouldn't be in the same category as Seasons, for example. But, you know, the sort of mod which helps you along is just so handy. And really, I think it should be in the game anyway, as standard, but um, it isn't. There is the sell point. Let's get it tipped, and hopefully we do get about a £1,000 extra. That might be wishful thinking. We'll soon find out. Right, I'm going to say a thousand. Come on, a thousand. That's job completed. Uh, 591 extra. Still, it's another 591 on top of the 1,712. Was it that low before? Or was it this job that was a £3,000 job? Ah, it might have been. Yes, it was this one here. So, still, very good. Complete, and we can do another job in the future. Right then, back to the farm. We'll drop this off, and we'll try and find another job to do. We do also have to finish our own field, though. Field number 25 needs to be finished. I should probably prioritise that. And then it's fully um, drilled and uh, cultivated, which will boost the yield. And then in a few episodes' time, we can harvest it. I should think for number 20 can be harvested any day now. Can't be too far off. It's not quite ready. But like I say, any day, we can get the combine in there. It's actually looking quite healthy. So that's going to be really good. Hopefully a few thousand pounds will be coming off that field. Anyway, this seems to have ended up being my parking space, although it might be better to put it behind the shed. There is more wasted space over here. There we go. And we'll put the cover over in case it rains. I don't think it's going to rain, it's showing cloudy, so yeah, it's just uh, an okay day. 
Some clouds, some sunshine. No rain. Uh, right, so yeah, the, the New Holland T5. That really does need to be looked at. Um, oh yeah, that hasn't been ploughed. Well, it has been ploughed recently, and it isn't actually requiring um, it to be ploughed, but I did say I should do it. Although, yeah, we'll probably do the whole field again anyway. We really do need to get the crop in. So this is soybeans, as you can see. Unfortunately, that piece has now started to grow. I was a bit slow with this. I shouldn't have been so slow, but it will catch up. And it'll be fine in the end. That is the bottom section almost finished. We do have a very small piece at the top to do as well. So that will completely finish the field until spraying. Uh, spraying will be in a few days time. There we go. Yeah, not too much to do here. Just this top triangle. And this uh, cheap direct drill, which we have created with a power harrow and the standard seed drill works very well. Really pleased I did this instead of buying the uh, the more expensive direct drill, the actual direct drill. It's the same working with too. And now the final piece. So, yep, it can go back under cover if there is space. We also need to go and grab the gator and the combine. And it looks like there isn't actually going to be another crop for us to harvest today. Both of our two fields aren't ready. Obviously. <laughs> Just still currently drilling one of them. Um, but the other one is not too far off, but it's still not ready um, as such. Half of it probably is, if we take a look here. Yeah, I'm sure it caught up, but clearly not. It is just this section here, the green section, which is behind. Okay, um, so yeah, before we take it back, let's just double check this. I am desperate to do one of these high value jobs, but I know that almost 14 acres of potatoes are going to take a long time to do. I also can't believe that I still haven't had a John Deere job. I'm wanting to use the John Deere combines. I guess we'll have to keep waiting. Unless it is one of the big fields which it will be assigned to and the big field currently has weeds in. It could be. But that's it. Finished at last. It can now grow and that is going to be hopefully a very good crop of soybeans. And as we know soybeans are worth a fair amount but they're not the best. They're pretty good. Um, I did actually see somebody's very well put together chart of what the best crop is to grow and actually because of the amount that you get out of them potatoes and sugar beet are right up there as the best crops um, but this is the thing you have to have a large amount of them to do really well uh, but you're still going to do all right because the prices have been improved i think they're probably about double what they were in 17 because uh, they were way too low in 17 so that is a big improvement um, so if you had a huge field of potatoes or sugar beet you're going to do pretty well except for buying <laughs> Buying the machine or leasing the machine, that is expensive, which of course is the downside and you're going to have to take that into account uh, when it comes to profits and it might end up being not very good for the first few harvests, but eventually you're going to pay that machine off and it will be very good. Right, so let's put this into here and then we'll head over to fill number 32 and grab the other two machines. We'll go for the combine first because it's slow, we'll get it out of the way and then we'll finish off with the gator. Well that's the first machine, uh, where can we put this then? It's going to be tough to fit the gator in as well, this can go in here. We are lacking shed space. And now for the gator, oh look it actually goes through the back through the tailgate when you turn. So yeah, not the best machine to have it on, but it does tow it all right, which is a bonus. Um, it's much faster than a tractor, at least a tractor that we have. Uh, 32 is similar to some of the faster tractors.
we're almost back. So yeah, we're going to call it a day from here. Um, we'll see what the next episode brings. I'm hopefully going to be harvesting this field to the right hand side of us. Um, and also doing some more contracts if we can do. I'm really hoping to use the John Deere Common Harvest like I've said before. But if all these weeds disappear in the farmer's fields, we'll have a much larger selection, which will be uh, very good. At the moment, our selection is restricted because it keeps being the same fields. Um, we have the same fields every time. But there are some good ones in there. I think next time, if we don't have anything else to do, we'll do either 13, 12 or 22. All of which are big harvests. Uh, in fact, field number 12 is the field which we did some spraying in. Near the grain mill. Big field, that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.